So something that I learned whilst doing the Brent Everston figure drawing course was that I've been trying to hold a pencil in the overhand grip and yeah, it's so much, so much easier than using like a, you know, like an, um, a normal like pencil I kind of used to, just a 2B. It's just like the amount of control that you got on it. I actually found like I'm actually better at it than I thought I was, literally just because of the way I'm holding a pencil. Now, I have held a pencil like this before, but not really like learned using one. It's more just drawing and just for fun, really, just having a laugh. But, um, yeah, so I've been doing this to the use to do the torso of what he teaches. It's doing this kind of like shape. Be easier on the broad than usual. This kind of shape where that's the like pelvis, so to speak, and then that's like the torso. And essentially, using your band grip, it's so much easier, but getting this like indent where like the skin stretches. It's a bit easier when the skin like pinches, but when the skin stretches, it's been really, really difficult. Like I've been like trying to use the tip to get like a sharper line, and it's still like really having to go over it. I just can't quite get the uh, the feeling in the hand. Same on these ones as well. Essentially, it's got to be down to the way I'm sharpening it. So I've been using like razors, like razor blades. I've been using them for like a few days now and I'm actually like getting actually quite used to using them. But so like, I've got better at like chipping the wood. But then when I get to the actual like tip, I just really like well, I'm like rubbing my finger over it, it's like really uneven. And I've seen online like you can use like sandpaper. I think I've seen Proho do that, where like you'd, you know, send that to sandpaper, you'd like get the pencil and you'd just like evenly, since they sharpen it using sandpaper so that it's actually like smooth. So the minute like I'd like draw a line, if I go through a circle, and there'd like be two circles, like one in the middle of it as well. It'd be literally because it's like an uneven part that's catching the paper as well. So, yeah. That's something like sort of huge improvement in me drawing just by actually getting the pencil like sharpened properly. But like the way I've done it like has made it more difficult. Like as in not more difficult, there's like a better way to do it than the way I've done it. It's like smoother out. So this is actually a wolf carbon pencil. Two B. Got these a while ago, but I also got a Conte I think it's Conte A Paris or Paris. Who do you think I am? <laughs> Paddy. Conte A Paris. I don't know what to say. Uh, that's a carbon 2B. I've sharpened this three times. The first time was, you know, getting the first bits of the wood off and then I sharpened the tip and it wasn't even. I had to go over it again. Then put it down on my paper to get up. And go wash my hands because my hands are covered in, you know, all the, the carbon stuff from the sharpening. As I stood up, I just put the pencil down on the paper. As I stood up, I just heard it roll off. And I was like, oh, you're joking. I come back. Tip had snapped off. You know, it's going to happen. Because it was, it was thin like that. So then the tip just snapped off it. So I spent about 25 minutes because I'm not used to it yet. Chip more wood off and sharpen the pencil. And then guess what I did about 45 minutes after that? Did the exact same thing. I put it down on something that I thought was flatter because I was using like a, a cheaper notepad, like sketchbook, like A3 to like do warm ups on. And then saving the, paper, the newsprint paper that I use on the drawing board. I've just been saving that to actually like do the lessons on. So I thought, oh yeah, that'll be, that'll be flat. And I put that on it. And the thing just rolled off again. 
I just like it. <laughs> I was literally at the toilet. Go about to go in and I just heard this little dee -dee. I was like, oh you're messing her come back. Yeah. Freaking broke it again. So <laughs> this is my new tactic. A little jar where the pencils have to go back in every single time it's not in my hand because I'm gonna end up breaking these every single time. So that now just sits to the left of my desk. That's where they go. Like just building the habit of whenever I'm not using it. I don't care if I'm putting it on a flat table now, it's going straight in this little jar. And I'm just gonna try not to knock the bloody jar over either. But yeah, just using that overhand grip, like the longer tip, even though I haven't done it properly, like I found it just so much easier, like not even easier, it's like you can execute better. It's like what I'm thinking in my head when I'm trying to do it. Like I realised, oh actually I can do it better than I thought. It's simply just like I haven't I haven't used this during the course, I've actually used one of these pencils, but I hadn't sharpened it properly. Like it was a really bad job in this town. Really it just took some time to get it right. Well get it better, not right. But yeah. I realise now I've just been looking at myself in the phone instead of the camera, which is absolutely stupid. But anyway, I love the camera. Yeah. Come lost me train now. Yeah, so I had sharpened this and I saw like an improvement. But then when I sharpened it again, like better. Did a better job on the wolf carbon pencil. That's when I actually went, oh actually I can get the fluid movement. Oh actually I can draw that shape a lot better. Or oh, I actually can more accurately get the angle of like the top like this like oval kind of shape and actually get that bet like more accurate to what the uh and just what I'm like aiming for. And a lot of it like pretty much comes down to just like being able to use the side. Now I'm not saying you have to make it that long because I mean I'll be honest with you I haven't got a clue like I've only just really like started out I've seen like both Brent himself on the course uses like maybe something not that thick but like it's only like a tip like that long and he still uses the side because I think he said he uses an electric sharpener to do that but yeah just the improvements made just by doing with that like I've only been doing like figure drawing like three days now and like the, I've been like improving not perfect obviously it's not gonna be perfect but each day it's like I have to spend a bit of time to like, catch up to get back to where you know I was and then I forget some things I'm meant to be doing during the actual like and then of course I'm gonna be able to see this at this problem last time Yeah, you might not be able to see that properly, but anyway, a lot of the improvements have come actually down to the tool, not just like, obviously the practice as well, but not just that, just actually, when I sharpen this for the second time, when I actually put effort into this one, um, I actually looked at some videos as well, I think there was one um, by, mentioned in my first video by, I want to say, it used to be called Bradwin Jones, but in my name, which we call like Draw with Jones. And um, he was showing you how to like do the razor, like he did the full like 10 minute video where he slowly went through how he did it. Um, so I just watched a few of them just to actually go like, okay, how are they actually like doing it? And you know, like using, I won't show it, but using like the, the razor to like actually you try and evenly just scrape it off. Obviously you gotta be careful with it to, you know, to raise it. I haven't cut myself yet, but we had that, that like jumped in improvement. Like it was like quite a decent jump where it can't have just been, oh, I've just improved when it comes to like technique or to like how I'm understanding the, you know, how to actually do it. It was actually just straight away an improvement just from having like a better, like the pencil been sharpened properly. It was actually like, I actually use like, Rather than like I was trying to use like the trying to use like the side there, but instead I use like the side higher up. It's like a still soft but not like a 
a super big line, if you get me, that doesn't make any sense. So like rather than using that, it was more like, yeah that's more like it, like that. I mean, this is this is awfully not like this is showing properly, but yeah, um, definitely a huge increase just with like just changing up the tool. Like, I was just like, oh, I actually, I actually understand this more than I thought I did simply by doing that. Anyway, just thought I'd just share that.